vibrant town and with vibrant people. I wouldn't wish to be any place else. Yeah, I think it's a particularly special group of people in Stone. People of Abbeyfield are brilliant. Feel itself, it's like a lot of towns its size in Ireland. It's the cyclical phases, it's kind of up and down. But I'd hope there's a cycle of up in the next few years because it's gone through things. But there is a great community here, and there's a lot of positive things that have taken place. I'd love to see Abbey Field return to the way that it was years ago with lots of people and lots of busy businesses in town. I'd like to see people being included in the town. I'd like to see visitors coming and um, I'm hoping that the Greenway will make Abbey feel an attraction for lots of people. We have a major uh, public relevant plan in place for Abbey Field and we're hoping within the next couple of months to get it up and running. Uh, it will mean uh, traffic calming measures, uh, various upgrades of paving and so on and so forth in the town. So I'm really looking forward to this and I have no doubt in my mind it will enhance the town greatly and it will bring more business into town. I like the community here, every feel. Uh, it's heritage, which we have a lot of. We have uh, so many things in our back door, like behind us there we have a greenway. We can just go into our car, five minutes down the road, go for a lovely walk. Uh, we're within distance of Limerick City, so we can go shopping. We're near a beach, which is Ballybunnan. So we have a lot of things in our doorstep and every field. We have a glory theater, which is, I think, a great achievement for such a small town. And I'd like to see that actually being promoted for young people. I consider Glorick very important in the cultural life of every field. It's just, it, it's offering a good variety of, in terms of different genres. At the moment, we're screening a film, actually, a B-feel and film in context, and it gives a look back to history and archival footage. We've had a good few concerts in the last month, and, and we've been coming up in the New Year local drama again. And prior to that, we actually had two one-act players there at the end of October, so there's a good mix there, so it is, it's definitely catering to a lot of interests, I think, yeah. The hope would be We've had plans disrupted, I suppose, over the last three years with COVID, but hopefully to get back on youth theatre again, as a teen, late teens, mid to late teens, and I suppose the most prominent. In that age group last year, there was a local girl, Rosie Keneally, she was actually sitting in the leaving, but she played support um, to one of the concerts there, it was um, last June. So. So it's, it's very open to any young person there, then that's what you'd hope they would take advantage of the stage that's here, yeah. There's good sporting activities in the town, so we have a good rugby club and we have a good GAA club and soccer club. Um, there's some activities and sports that happen through the, through the school. We also have a beautiful town park, which is out at the other end of the town, that's uh, accessible for everybody, that has lovely walks and places to play and places to picnic. And we've just had the Greenway open um, in Abbey Field last July. So that is going from Rathkeel to Abbey Field and then going from Abbey Field on to Listowel. So people like to walk and cycle and run and do lots of things on the Greenway. Um, I suppose I'd love to see more happening for teenagers, youth clubs and places for people to go um, but at the moment it's not there so I, w I think that would be great if we could have something different. I was stuck in youth club for 10 years in Abbey Field and there's one thing I always love to achieve but I never achieved it was some place where they can hang out like a youth cafe or a, an internet cafe some place but then again that has to be manned so it needs a lot of funds and it needs a lot of help. But hopefully someday that'll be my wish for every feed for all the young people. And the one thing that's really important to me in every field is the friendliness of the people. And I think we are a very friendly, very friendly town, we have a very friendly people living in every field. And no matter where I go and 
what I do, I always love to come back to Abbey Field, to my hometown and to the friendliness of the people. I think that's one of the assets that we definitely have in Abbey Field. Uh, we have a vibrant town and we have vibrant people. It was a writer from Newcastle West and lecturer Pat O'Connor in a book, uh, People Make Places. And to me it's people, like anywhere. And I think that that, that is Abbey Field's greatest asset. And I, yeah, I think it's a particularly special group of people in Stone. Oh, without a doubt, my favourite thing about Abbey Field is its people. We have beautiful, fantastic people in Abbey Field. Uh, we just did a calendar called the Bear Essentials to highlight the town. And it was the people that made that happen. And it was showcasing what Abbey Field has to offer. And its best selling point, its unique selling point is the people. People of Abbey Field are brilliant.